despite the cold outside, have supported this event wholeheartedly. 10,000 seater stadium. Tai Su Ying has just won the women's singles. Next, we've got the mixed doubles. It's an all Chinese affair, the number one and two seeds, Huang Yang Zhe and Wang Dongping, who are in a 10th World Tour tournament final this year. Up against the defending champions and two time winners, Chen Shi Wei and Wang Ya Xiong. Well, as far as the mixed doubles draw was concerned, the semi-final stage it was the top four pairs that entered the world tour finals the top four seeds fang yang Zhe and wang dong ping came through against the olympic bronze medalists watanabe and higashino and sheng shi wei and wang ya xiong reversed the result of the world championship final from earlier this year with the world champions only scoring 17 points uh, but let me tell you, the world champions didn't play badly. It was simply uh, that Sheng Shi Wei and Wang Ya Xiong uh, played an absolute blinder. So, the mixed doubles, all Chinese affair. Fang Yang Zhe and Huang Dongping. Huang Dongping is in her third final at the World Tour Finals against Cheng Shi Wei and Wang Ya Xiong. Well, it's their first appearance as a pair, the first ever end of year championship for Fang Yang Zhe. They've had the most incredible year. And this, as I was saying, their 10th final in their 18th World Tour event of the year. Cheng Shi Wei and Huang Ya Xiong for Cheng Shi Wei. This is simply remarkable. It's his sixth appearance at the World Tour Finals or Super Series Finals, as they used to be called, and this is his sixth mixed doubles final in his sixth appearance. He's won four titles, two with two different partners, two with his partner of today, of course, winning in 2019 and 2022, but he did win in 2016 and 17 with his former partner, Chen Ching Cheng. So this will be a sixth meeting between these two pairs and of the previous five, Cheng Shi Wei and Wang Ya Xiong have won four of them. In fact, they won the last two. The last time was the semi-final with the China Masters in Shenzhen. Two straight games, as you can see. Uh, but the one time that Fang Yang Zhe and Wang Dong Ping did win was the Denmark Open. It was one of the best mixed doubles matches I think I've ever witnessed. 26-24 in the deciding game. The pair in black, one in bronze. Feng Yang Zhe is the tallest man in the tournament at 195. That's just under six foot five. Only 22 years of age, born in Tianjin. And he and his partner are just one place down from their career high of three. 17 weeks from the 1st of August earlier this year at number three on the world ranking. His partner, Huang Dongping, who was in two finals with Wang Yilu, winning in 2018 and then losing to her opponents of today a year later. She is a former world number one, uh, the lady who will turn 29 next month. Born in Meishan town in Nanan city in Fujian province. And seven titles already this year from nine previous finals. Well, in their first match, which was on Wednesday, they beat Chen and To from Malaysia in two straight games. They then needed three games to beat the two-time former champions, Puava and Nukro and Teirak Tanachai. Aaron, 26 minutes, as you can see, for that one. 
on Friday, uh, they beat Watanabe and Higashino in three games. And then it was drawn that they had to play against the Olympic bronze medalist once again in the semi-final stage. Saved the game point in that second game before winning at 23-21. So to the man who's in his sixth final, in his sixth appearance here at the end of year championships, Cheng Shiwei, who's 26 years of age from the port city of Wenzhou which translates into English as mild and pleasant man. He and his partner are enjoying their 192nd week as world number ones. Wang Yaxiong, who was a semi-finalist in the women's doubles at the end of year championships back in 2017. She and her partner, she's 29 as you can see, uh, she and her partner uh, beat Tang and Si, the two left-handers from Hong Kong, China, then beat uh, Kim and Jiong from Korea. After losing the first uh, game, uh, they ended up having to save four match points in the second before winning the decider to 15. On Friday, they uh, beat uh, the world champions, Su Xian Jae and Che Yu Jung, in a repeat of that world championship final and the same semi-final as the last of the group matches. Hai so, Lan Yen of I'm Vietnam is along half of this one. Pan Xian, the service judge. Well, I thought Huang Yaxiong in yesterday's semi-final was absolutely outstanding. And the pace with which she played and the way she closed down the Ladies net and was just sensational. On the line, Jiang Wei and Huang Yaxiong, China. And on my left, Feng Chang Jie and Huang Dongbing, China. <laughs> Huang Ya Chong to serve two. What? Huang Chang Jie, left on play. So the mixed doubles final about to get underway. The defending champions and two time winners, Chen Shi Wei and Wang Ya Xiong, nearest to us. Olympic silver medalists. Love. Former world champions, in fact, three time world champions, having contested four world championship finals. Amazing defense. Wow. Well, it looks to me as if this pair in red have started this final the way they finished the semi final Love. yesterday. It was like uh, they got their game started after losing the first game in the uh, second group match against uh, Kim Won Ho and uh, Jung Nong. And on that occasion, it was, in my opinion, Wang uh, Chong who sort of took the lead and uh, started being more decisive, taking more responsibility and uh, helped the pair raise their game. Good leave. 
Well, in contesting Four. his sixth final, La. mixed doubles final, that obviously is for Shen Shui. That creates a record at the end of year championships. He was equal to Zhang Nang and Zhao Yunlei, who contested as a pair five finals at this event. Service over. One, four. Over. We saw there how Huang Yajong made her way to the front court. And she's probably, at least in my opinion, the best front court player in the world in uh, mixed doubles. I would certainly second that. Six, yeah. one. That's all the first two group matches. The first match against Tang and Si from Hong Kong. And I think that sort of uh, disrupted the game a little bit because in that match she actually was better from the backcourt than uh, Si in Sweat. But in the next match against John and Kim, it was obvious that she should search for the front court, get yeah. forward to the net, play in the uh, normal mixed doubles formation. Traditional, I should think. Traditional, yeah. yeah. And because I don't think it is the norm anymore, necessarily. No, there's, there's pairs that uh, definitely can uh, play in the opposite formation with a lot of success. All depending on the skill set of your opponents. Yeah. Well, Eight, they played at two. 100 miles an hour yesterday in the semi final. Chen Shiwei and Wang Yaxiong are playing at the same pace again. Everything looking to attack. Service over. Basically side by side there. Jing and Huang. Who are covering the front court. Service over. Four. Nine. Well, this is a fifth all Chinese mixed doubles final at the end of year championships. First since 2019, which isn't altogether surprising. Given the Chinese players didn't play in 20, now 21. Was that the one that Wang Yilu and um, Huang Dongping won? No. That was in 18. They, that was in 18. Yeah. It was the first title that. Uh, the pair in red one as a combination oh. beating 
Wang Yi Lu and Wang Dongping. Yep. Yep. There she is again, right on top of the net. And it's an 11-4 lead in the opening game for the defending champions, Chen Shi Wei and Wang Xiong. Only seven minutes played. was quite interesting when players Seven, don't have oh. coaches available and they're left to their own devices Five, and it was very noticeable 11. to me Steen that Wang Dongping was very much taking the captain's role <laughs> she's doubling as a coach <laughs> yes I wonder if she's also taking two-thirds of the prize money <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, now that was clever. That was a half smash. Six, Just a 11. change of pace from Fang Yangzhe. Sharp to look for these drives, yeah. be blocks. Six. Because it wasn't uh, that much pressure he applied, uh, Jiang Siwei. take her out of the game or, or get it past her that that's a difficult <laughs> call though isn't it what do you do and, and it, what makes it even more difficult is that they practice against each other so it's hard to to sort of come up with a secret weapon yeah a secret game plan that hasn't been tried in practice or in one of the uh, previous matches where they've played and uh, Huang Dongping. They definitely don't want to be in the defense and, and lifting to uh, Zheng and Huang. Zheng and Huang, they know that. That's why they sometimes go almost side by side. One uh, racket length from the uh, double service line to earn the attack themselves. So it should be like sort of we know that you know that we know that you know and so on. So, <laughs> so you've got to you've got to uh, vary constantly. Service over. Seven fifty. Service 
good defence from Fang Yang Sha. Oi, that's a good yeah. save by uh, Fung. He ended up winning the rally. Yeah. He had no right to do that. Service over. Especially from back I low. Look at that. City. It's almost um, at shoelace level. He picks it up. attack there's possibilities we saw that earlier on in the group stage matches but it's much easier said than done that was a much flatter smash yeah but I think I think perhaps it's a little bit deliberate because if you flat, if you smash flat, it's hard to pick up long again. So you can activate your front court player. Who wouldn't want to do that if it's Wang Yachong? Exactly. Seven if it's a steep nine. attack, then you're more likely to get it back to yourself, but a little bit, hopefully a little bit shorter than the previous lift. That's a lot like the style of Su Sung Jae, who works himself into a better position. I'm not saying that Jung Se cannot do that. He can. But doesn't use that many steep smashes. He relies on power. That came over. Yeah, it did. No wonder he smiles. That was over. 10, 17. Oi. Oh no. Eleven, They're a little bit relaxed 17. at the moment. The players in red. Yeah, I think they've just eased off a little bit. I think so too. Yeah, it's a little bit dangerous in my opinion. Oh, he didn't do it again, did he? No. <laughs> stayed his side. <laughs> 18, 11. It was mighty close. Who was going for the next one? just standing in the centre of the court, yeah. not moving at all. Yeah. There's a nice switch of angle on the attacking shot from Sheng Shi Wei. Fifty-three shots. Longest really. That's that's a lot of shots in a mixed double. Yeah.
could say that they're trying to take Wang Yachong out of it on the front court. And that rally. Game point opportunities. Incidentally, Steen Wu had a rally. You say it was unusual to have a rally of 53. Of 102 in the mixed doubles yesterday. That's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> Game point opportunities for the defending champions. Only Again. needed the one. 21 11 opening game. One by Yang Shi Wei and Huang Ya Chong. Then the one 11. Kampa confirms Yang Shi Wei and Wang Ya Xiong opening game. In uh, just under 18 minutes. Second game. Love all. Play. So the defending champions, one game to the good. Chen Shi Wei and Wang Yaxiong. Oh dear. Service error. Service over. One love. Well, there's only been three mixed doubles pairs who have ever won consecutive titles here at the end of the year championships. Chen Nen and... Uh, yeah, Xiao Yun Lei. Fisher and Pedersen. Yeah. I don't know the, this, is this the last one? Sheng Shi Wei oh. and Chen Ching Ching. 16 and 17. So a challenge here. First challenge of this. Next up is final.
Riley. Yeah. That's um, some of what it takes for uh, Fung and uh, Huang to uh, to come back here and uh, challenge their compatriots. Fung needs to be more dangerous, in my opinion. The playing conditions here are similar to 2018 when Huang Dongping, together with her former partner. Olympic champion partner Huang Yilu defeated Jiang Ziwei and Huang Yachong. Slow playing conditions helped their defense so they could survive a bit more of the attack from uh, Jiang Ziwei. Yeah. And uh, yeah, perhaps Fung is a little bit after there as well, but, but he's got a reasonably good defense uh, already. I just feel that when he looped with his speed of movement, he wasn't much slower, if at all, than Zhang away And a good smash, so he was more dangerous. He, he could score um, easier against um, primarily... Uh, ah, no, that, just the, the, the combined defense of Zhang away and Huang Yachong. And I feel that Feng has had trouble doing that, but... Uh, Good lead, good start here to the second game. Oh, he's run off to change his racket. Ah, oh, he's won the points. Five, love. I think he played that with um, Huang Dong Ping's racket. Look, yellow grip. He just grabbed the closest one. Oh, that's a fine defensive shot. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. Five love, second game having really not been in the first game at all. Six love. Six love. concentration by Huang Yachong before receiving a, that serve. We noticed it in the first game when they were well ahead that sort of it looked a little bit um, as they took it a little bit easy they were quite assured that they were going to pull this off. Seven, over. Seven, one. I'm struggling to understand how this can Eight. change quite so wow. dramatically. Yeah. I mean, presumably, it's uh, the drift is playing a big part of it. But uh, that doesn't explain it because it should be the other way around. Okay. In my opinion, that that's the way Huang Yachong should have an easier task of putting it away. You could say that Feng and Huang can play an easier defense. Be afraid that it's going long. But they're also facing a bit bigger smash. Oi. The legs. Wow. What a terrific rally.
service of two eight. It's always dangerous to fall down in uh, concentration or alertness for whatever reason it might be, whether you're nervous, whether you get distracted by other things or whatever, because you never know when is the day where you're not able to regroup. Thank you. Turn of serve. Service over. Nine, two. Hey. Yeah, Service lucky neck called on the return of serve. Three, nine. They won their last two tournaments before these World Two Tour Finals. The Chen Jiwei and Wang Yaxiong in Kumamoto and the China Masters in Shenzhen. Suspect that's the longest of this second game. Yeah, it's been very short rallies. Yeah. Huh. Oh, she got back well for that. Service over. Ten, four. in the uh, opening Service of the rally over. where Funk plays a cross drop shot from his backhand Ten. side and you know, Chong reaches it just above floor level but still plays it into the net. That's one of the things that makes her so good that she dares to do that and has the skills to do it. It's long with the back line. And Fan Yanjia and Wang Dongping go to the mid game interval with a six point advantage.
20 seconds, 20 seconds. So play resumes here in the second game. Fang Yangzhu and Wang Dongping playing much, much better now in this second game than they did in the first. Oh, goodness, what was Sheng Shiwei doing going forward there? the sort of attacking play that we saw from the defending champions in the opening game. Yeah, and the Six, commitment needed. 11. The thing is, they're playing an Olympic champion and a young player, and I mean, we know that this young player, Feng Yanji, he's, he's very ambitious and working. He eager to learn, and at some point he's learned enough. You never know when when it is. Yeah. That was not the best play by Huang Dongping. Yeah, and it's rare Seven, that she makes 11. wrong decisions, yeah. isn't it? In the semi-finals yesterday, I, I described her as reliable in that most of the time yes. she puts in a good performance. You yeah. can you can rely on her to play a solid game. Dependable. Dependable. Excellent word. Yeah, well played. Yeah, and the thing is, you just got to adjust Eight, your... 11 sort of uh, shot selection or situational reading a little bit according to the opponents. This was clearly one of the border cases. Steepness. Then he becomes really, really dangerous. Oh, that's a shocking serve. Service so over. Nine, twelve. All attack again now, as it was in the opening game. Shen Shui and Wang Yashuang. Oh, she missed with that one. Service over. Thirty nine. Fourteen, 
service over. 10, 14. I'm sitting here with the feeling that 15, if Jensen Wang Hong Yang turns the alert and his concentration boss in just a little bit, they will be uh, dominant. But that they, it's been, perhaps been turned too much off, so it won't really come on consistently now. Mm. And I think they could lose this second game. Yeah. Getting Sounds back your over. confidence in sport. It's Eleven, not like 15. switching on a light bulb. No. It, the confidence it, has to be earned. Yes. And then suddenly you get called for a service fault a couple of times and you're in all kinds of trouble. We saw it in the women's single there when everything looked bright from the ring. In the middle of the second game. And she never really regained yeah, confidence. No. Very true. And her opponent, Tai Su Ying, the winner. She, she grew. Yeah, she played much We don't have dedicated uh, court attendants here at the finals. Yeah, I agree. There's a challenge here from Fan Yanja. challenges out. Only two points the deficit. Only seven points are behind at one stage. Service over. 16, 13. defense from Wang Dongping. A defensive shot 17, skimmed 17. over the net. This one. Yeah. Seventeen. 
a lot up and down for Hong Dong Ping as well. There's been some mistakes and some bad choices and some absolute brilliant moment in the second game. Gulps of air for Fang Yanjia. I think that equals the longest rally, doesn't it? 53 shots. 53. We had one in the first game at 53. Yeah. Just before the end of the first game, if I remember correctly. That was, wasn't that, that the one with the clears in it and, and stuff? I think it was. Eighteen, fifty. Three point advantage and three points away from forcing a third and deciding game. Chen Shi Wei and Wang Yashong have up their game to the sort of level that they were playing in the opening game. And now there's just one point in it. All out attack, everything hit hard from Chen Shi Wei. on that beautifully taken Bit directly into the regular of uh, yeah twice she was absolutely outstanding yesterday Best player on the court by some margin. Two points away from a second consecutive title. <laughs> Match point opportunities. On a run of five straight points. And a 
done it. Make that a run of six straight points from 15 18 down to 21 18. And a third title here at the World Tour Finals for Sheng Shui and Wang Yashong. A second consecutive and a fourth different pair to win consecutive mixed doubles titles at the end of year championships. Well, I thought they were going to pay the price before taking their foot off the pedal in the second game. But they found their form just in the nick of time. Shen Shui and Wang Yashong were totally dominant in the opening game. But Fang Yan Zheng and Wang Dong Ping got off for a flyer in the second and it didn't make the second game awfully exciting. It's the final rally and the moment of victory. A fifth title in the mixed doubles discipline for Shen Shui when contesting his sixth final in his sixth appearance at this event. Those are remarkable statistics. Confirmation of that scoreline. 21-11, 21-18 in 48 minutes.
中世纪年，世界巡回赛总决赛混合双打颁奖仪式现在开始。Ladies and gentlemen, the award ceremony of the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals 2023 for mixed doubles now begins. 有请获奖运动员、颁奖嘉宾入场。So both pairs are invited to step forward for the start of the prize presentation for the mixed doubles. They finished the year ranked number one on the Race to the World Tour finals in their very first full year playing on the World Tour. That is a remarkable achievement. And to reach the final of these World Tour finals, Fan Yanzhou and Wang Dongping. But for Sheng Shiwei and Wang Yashong, they finished the year with three titles in the last three tournaments that they've played. A third title at this particular event. Four years after their first and a second consecutive, having won last year in Bangkok. Sixth World Tour title of the year for Shen Shiwei and Wang Yashong. They are the number one pair on the world ranking. They may not have won the World Championship final earlier this year, but I think their performance this week in Hangzhou reinstates them as, without question, the best pair in the world. Doubles title. The fifth meets doubles title at this particular event. The World Tour Finals just for the best of the best. There are no easy matches. Only the top eight players and pairs in each of the disciplines are invited to this event in the first place. Oh, they're going to have a selfie. How lovely. Oh, my God. 
So we have just one more final to come. And it features the 2018 winner, Chi Wu Chi of China. He's up against Victor Axelson, who is going for a record fifth men's singles title at this event.